Hey kiddos, we're on day three of our Christmas crafts. I can't wait to get started on this project. Most of the products that I used in this were from Dollar Tree. You're gonna need four shadow boxes. It doesn't matter the size or the theme because you're gonna use the inside of them, not the outside. You can see where I had four of these that were, were Christmas, but that was just because that's what I had. You could, you could use Halloween because it's not gonna matter. You can only see the, the backside of it anyway. So the first thing I do is I measure um, the inside and I take this white cardstock and I cut it in four pieces. And I'm cutting, so you only need one sheet. You could use plaid, you could use snowflakes, you could use whatever matches your decor. Um, change it up any way you want. Mine is white and gold and silver so for that living room, so that's what I'm using. Here I'm showing you just some different ribbons that I have. Um, both of those I think came from Hobby Lobby, but Dollar Tree ribbon works just as well. That's just what I had first pulled out that I was going to do red and white, and then I changed it up to do burlap and white I think in the end. The inside of these boxes are five and three-fourths inches. You, of course, just take a ruler to it and measure it. Um, another thing you could do is cut them a little bit short. If you're not good at measuring, cut them a little bit short and um, then have a border around the inside of them. That makes it a little bit easier. I cut them exactly perfect, not thinking, and I was like, well, you know, if you cut them a little bit shorter, then it would have put a border around them and been even cuter. Now how I'm going to attach this is I, I first used a, um, a tape runner and glue and put it in there. And after thinking about it, I should have just used hot glue. It would have been faster, easier. Just make sure you don't glop the hot glue on there. Um, the tape runner worked just as well. Um, but, you know, if you don't have a tape runner, glue, um, white glue will work. Uh, hot glue will work, anything that you can to use it to glue down. I just like to show what I do use. For the scrapbookers that follow along, they usually have all these products. Y'all, I hope you forgive me, but I did uh, make a boo-boo and erase the video where I have hot glued these three, these four boxes together to make the one big box. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to put um, on one side of each box, you're going to glue it to the other one, and then you're going to glue the two center pieces together. There I'm showing you just, I made a video later on. Um, I didn't have any more of these boxes, so I could show you. But what I did do is glue a ribbon all the way around the edges to hold it and then about a 22 inch piece to make the loop on the top. Now if you didn't want to do that, you could put a fastener on the back or you could just use it in an easel to hold it up. I also hot glued the ornaments in and those trees, they have raised edges on the back. So you need to find where the high spots are to put the hot glue on. Same with the, with the deer. And I turned one going one way and one going the other. So the antlers weren't um, exactly the same. So it looks like one's looking one way and one's looking the other. Well, here's the final product. And again, I wanna thank you so much for joining me in my channel. And if you could come back um, tomorrow for the next video, that would be great. Please subscribe and please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you would like to um, give any of suggestions how we could do it better. Merry Christmas.